The 16th Mythic in Call of Duty Mobile is finally here. It is the FFAR 1 Bright Blade. In today's video, we will be looking at all the items in this bright gold mythic drop and see if this mythic drop is worth buying. Special thanks to Murder Blast, to Meru Gamer, Alliant Gamer, and Sunshine Leaks for all these leaks. Please take a look at their channels and subscribe them as well. They are in the description. Before you continue, I'll be really happy if you smash the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, consider subscribing. The FFAR 1 is currently the fastest assault rifle in the game. Having the base damage of M13 and having a fire rate that is literally better than the M13, this gun is a beast. The weapon inspection shows what this gun all about. You can see that it is a sword that can ultimately turn into a blueprint or maybe the other way around. But if you're going to dive deep into this mythic, we have to take a look at the upgrade levels. So let's take a look at them. When you just unlock the gun, you're at level 0. When you upgrade the gun to level 1, you'll get some more attachment skins. So the attachments you're going to get are these 17.9 ultra light barrel, 19.5 task force barrel, agency suppressor, BO4 grip, field tape, and finally, the bandit steady stock. However, as the bonus rewards, you're gonna get a sticker which obviously cannot be seen due to the brightness of this gun. So it's better to apply it in any other gun. Moving on to level 2 upgrade, you get 2 more kill effects when you score 2 kills and 4 kills. It's also worth taking a look at the base kill effect. The base kill effect, however, is not as good as some of the legendary kill effects, to be honest. But since it shows a sword, which is related to the theme of this mythic, it's all good. In the 2 combo kill effect, instead of just one sword, you're gonna see 3 of them. But the animation is the same, it's just the number of swords. So I think it's a very lazy 2 combo kill effect compared to the base kill effect. When it comes to the 4 combo one, instead of 3, you're gonna see 7 swords. Is that what we get when you upgrade this? Wow, unbelievable. So lame. Definitely not what we expect from a mythic kill effect. But you know, if you like swords, maybe you'll like it. Honestly, I would just use the base kill effect because it looks clean. It's just one sword for one enemy. That's it. Now as the bonus reward, you're gonna get a charm, which does look like a tiny version of the same sword when you do the weapon inspection. That's very cute. I would take it. When you upgrade the gun to level 3, you're gonna get the advanced form. And they call it Helios Heart. Actually, now you can see some more parts added to the gun, especially when it comes to the front area of the gun. Notice how some parts are added to the top of the gun and the bottom of the gun. Now, when you go to level 3 upgrade, it's worth mentioning that this blueprint has three iron sights, and you get them once you upgrade it to these advanced forms. What you see on the screen right now is the base form and the base iron sight. Personally, for me, the default FFAR iron sight is not a hard iron sight to use. Yes, it is one of the weirdest iron sights I have seen in Call of Duty Mobile, but it is not hard to use at all. Looking at this iron sight, this is definitely more easier to use because there is no ghost ring. You just see a very clean iron sight with a dot. You can get a really good aim with this one. When you upgrade it to level 3, you're going to get this iron sight. Now, the only difference I see from these two iron sights is that the area of this crash shape here is bigger when you upgrade it to level 3. That makes it easier for you to see the enemy through the iron sight. So you can clearly see that they make it even more pay to win when you pay more of course. As the bonus rewards you're gonna get the badges and the calling card frame. We'll talk about the level 5 upgraded iron sight when you reach level 5. At level 4 upgrade we're gonna get the eternal dazzle trace ammo. Not only the trace ammo you can see the on hit effect here in this level 4 upgrade. As the bonus reward you're gonna get the exclusive kill broadcast which you'll get anyways but this one is better. Now we move on to level 5 where we get the helios blade and this is the final upgraded form and notice the difference in the gun compared to the level 3 upgrade you can see a lot of parts are added to the back side of the gun and also the front area is different from the level 3 upgrade the gun literally looks like a sniper right now now at level 5 upgrade this is the iron sight you're gonna get actually now the square we had earlier is no longer there which means it is even more easy to aim with this iron sight now I mean, having this iron sight for such a powerful gun, you will literally be unstoppable. Also, at level 5 upgrade, you're gonna get a bonus feature. I don't know whether you noticed this or not, but in the base form or the level 3 advanced form, you're not going to see an ammo counter. You can only get the ammo counter when you upgrade it to level 5, which means when you max this mythic. Is this ammo counter that helpful? Maybe it will because the gun has the fastest fire rate in the assault rifle category, so you'll run out of ammo in a split of a second. It is that fast. Keep an eye on it. Let's take a look at the weapon inspection one more time. Because this weapon inspection is clearly one of the best. You can see that the gun turns into a big sword and then with the sword you break the screen. I really wanted a weapon inspection like this in Call of Duty Mobile. Like it feels like you refresh the whole game by your own. But at the same time it is not a long weapon inspection like the ones we see for some mythics. 
That's another thing that is worth mentioning. What they have done to the reload animation. When the first upgrade came out, you will rotate the gun and it will reload. At the time I thought this is one of the best reloads ever. Like it's so fun, right? It's not like any other reload you do. And honestly, I wanted this. But recently they have changed it. Now it looks just like any other reload. I don't know why they have changed it. Maybe because you don't see anything happen to the gun. You just rotate it. So it'd be a lazy type of a reload compared to the one we have right now. But damn, I wanted that one real bad and i'm not going to get it so sad about it what about you guys did you want the rotating animation for the reload or are you happy with the new one that you see on the screen right now now it's time to take a look at the completionist and seasonal camos since this gun is a lot bigger than most of the mythics when you equip camos it's going to make a huge difference but the unfortunate part is that you will not be able to equip all the seasonal camos you see on the screen right now only the latest one that's a huge disappointment because this actually looks great with most of the seasonal camos in the game and that's all about the mythic ffar one bright blade to pull it in your first spin there's also 0.08 percent chance good luck with that after maxing this mythic you will get this frame i'm so glad that data miners were able to find it because normally we don't see it before we upgrade the gun so maximum and get this frame and i should say this this frame is so bright the next best item in this lucky draw is the character skin and we're gonna get the third quiggy skin in call of duty mobile called faded shadow the skin reminds me of Ghost in the Shell, to be honest. Or maybe the sci-fi, Ghost Runner, Cyberpunk stuff. I'm so happy with the color combination they have used here. It really looks like an assassin and someone who has power. Although the sword on his back is super bright, Maybe it is mildly animated, but I don't see it. Maybe it is not animated, it's just bright. The Quiggy skin is fine. It will be a great skin, both in multiplayer and battle royale. If you don't like the sword on his back, just equip a backpack. It will be replaced. To pull this Quiggy skin, there's out of 1.25% chance. If you are still watching the video, please smash the like button because you obviously forgot to do that. And also, please take a look at all the data miners in the description. And don't forget to subscribe them. Now, let's move on to the other items in this mythic drop and odds of getting them. With an out of 4%, we're going to get the M21 EBR Grim gold is game and we finally have an m21 ebr with the custom geometry i mean some of the m21 ebr skins in the game have a custom geometry but let's be honest this one looks like a beast i also like how they have designed it like a sword especially when it comes to the frontier area this skin is also animated just think about it it does have a custom geometry and it is also animated such a good deal it's also worth taking a look at all the completionist and seasonal camos with this blueprint since m21 ebr is one of the oldest guns in the game you can equip any of these camos then with an order of 4.67 percent we're gonna get sword bright blade now earlier it was revealed that this is base melee now it is called sword now there's a little confusion whether this is a base melee skin or a brand new melee weapon called sword whatever it is it looks sick Although this is an APK skin, it really does look like a legendary. Then with an out of 5.5%, we're gonna get a shorty skin. But it does not come with the custom geometry as expected. So it's just another shorty skin for your collection. There's also a calling card with out of 6.5% called Solitude. And I believe the person who is in this calling card is QG. It's a good looking calling card, but it doesn't have the same color scheme as of the mythic. That's so strange. The wingsuit has out of 10% and it is just another mechanical wingsuit. Then with out of 11% we're gonna get the demon style emote. This emote reminds me of Goro from Mortal Kombat and 4 arms from Pentane. Like you literally get 2 more arms. Most of you all will be able to grab it in first few spins. Now here comes the good news. It finally feels like they want all of us to have some legendary items. At least for a cheap price. Because this legendary contact grenade has an odd of 28%. That's the second highest odds in this lucky draw. At least in your first two spins. The effect of this contact grenade is spontaneous. That is because it's a contact grenade. It's not like any other grenade or any other lethal equipment. You just throw it and it explodes on impact. So it should happen as quickly as possible. Maybe that's one reason why it has very high odds. But nevertheless, it's a legendary item the final item in this lucky draw without of 29 percent is the legendary charm this charm is actually better than most of the legendary charms we see in the game because it's animated and, and you can see it keeps rotating and with that now we have seen every item in this mythic drop and now if you ask me if this mythic drop is worth buying if you're collecting mythics you should go for this one because as far as i believe i think this ffar1 is a long lasting mythic which means you will be able to use it in every season because it is literally the fastest assault rifle in the game right now and with a lot of practice you will be able to control it and use it in even very high ranges especially when it comes to multiplayer you will also get a sword skin in this mythic drop legendary contact grenade a good emote m21 ebr with the custom geometry and a sick looking qg skin so this is clearly not a bad mythic drop and most of the items in this mythic drop are good but that's just my opinion what do you guys think about this mythic drop and how many spins you're gonna try let me know in the comment section 